Congratulations, Dr. Brzezinska, on being uh, the first woman and 13th faculty member from Ohio State University to be admitted to the National Academy of Engineering. It's one of the highest professional distinctions you can receive. What does that honor mean to you? Thank you very much. Um, there was a very humbling experience when I opened my email on 7th of February and it says, hey, congratulations. <laughs> I was, my first thought was, this must be spam. <laughs> I immediately thought of all my students and my collaborators, um, my former students and whoever really is a contributor. This is never ever an accomplishment of one person. I've been lucky enough to be involved in undergraduate research as well and at Ohio State I'm part of a solar cell research lab mm -hmm. and I was kind of drawn to it because I like the humanitarian engineering aspect of it oh, and I want to yes. improve energy efficiency and improve accessibility. Uh, could you kind of go on to explain a little bit more about your research and was it something that has always been a passion for you or something that grew? Essentially what drew me to profession um, with the maps, the, the art of map making, and like I said, you know, combined with my pretty good um, command of math was, was really good marriage. So you can see that I kind of evolved from being really curious about GPS, what <laughs> GPS can do, learn about its science, contribute somewhat to its science, and then really move on to engineering side um, of all sorts of applications. Over the years, the goal of my research team has always been provide position, navigation, and timing um, to anything, anywhere. Most recent work of my two PhD students is really on image-based navigation for autonomous vehicles. So, so you came to Ohio State because of the research that was going on mm -hmm. in GPS. What convinced you to stay? I was actually offered a faculty position to return back to my home department. I was a faculty member for good 17 years or so. Then I served as department chair in my home department and uh, I'm serving now as associate dean for research. I'll be receiving my bachelor's degree in the spring of 2020. Mm -hmm. What advice do you have for young female engineers as they go into the field? What would you like to do? be a good engineer and improve the quality of lives of people. Let's just go and do exactly what you want to do. Because you're good at it, you're trained at Ohio State, you have all the ingredients that you need. Trust your ability, trust your, trust your gut feeling. You are um, a strong, young, um, wonderfully trained woman and, and you should be able to do what you want to do with your life and it's, it's just really great to hear that you want to go and change the world. We, we need people like you all the time. Thank you, that was really helpful. <laughs> Sometimes you need to hear that, yeah. yeah. <laughs>